What's up, people? It's your girl Adeola. Thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. And you guys have made Kwale Doho extremely happy. Thank you so much. He feels like he's doing something good. <laughs> no, be so, you know, so well. The boy has been very, very happy. As in, he's been so happy. But thank you, honestly, for me too. I'm, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much, every one of you. So, the Nigerian government wants to build cow settlements, uh, which is Zuruga in Hausa language, in all 36 states. And each of these settlements that they are trying to build would have all basic amenities including schools hospitals good roads veterinary clinics markets and manufacturing entities that will process the meat that will be produced so they say that this is to stop the clashes between herdsmen and farmers in nigeria but you know i have three problems with this my first issue is that buari has never acknowledged the herdsmen in nigeria are killing people he has insisted for years the herdsmen only carry sticks and occasionally machetes to cut down foliage. The state's most concerned, uh, they knew that the Nigerian herders never carried anything more than a stick and occasionally a machete to cut down foliage and give it to their animals. Wait, do you smell something? Is he saying something else? Yeah, it must be the lights. Ooh, ah. Okay, thank you so much. I mean, he kept saying Nigerian herdsmen are peaceful, that these are foreigners. He said that they are from neighboring countries. The problem about the uh, cattle rearers and the herders, I don't think uh, people should underrate what happened in Libya. 43 years of Gaddafi, people were recruited from the Sahel. They were taught nothing other than to shoot and kill. Okay, so um, if Nigerian herdsmen are not responsible for the clashes and the killings in Nigeria, are we building Ruga for foreigners? Is what I don't understand. Are we building Ruga for people that came from Libya? I mean, you've never been honest with us. You have always lied to cover up for the herdsmen. And now you want us to believe that you want to do this in our interests. You know, how do you provide a solution to a problem that you have failed to acknowledge? By proposing to build Ruga, you are indirectly acknowledging that you know that the herdsmen that are killing people are Nigerians. And that also means you were deliberately lying to Trump when you said that the herdsmen are peaceful, they only carry sticks and that you were also deliberately lying each time that you've said that they are from neighboring countries. That is what it means to me. Which brings me to my second issue with this Ruga thing. A group of people have invaded several villages. As of last year, Amnesty International said that they've killed more than three, more than 3,000 people. Now, we know that that is a conservative number, you know, and it's also from last year. So we know that at least 5,000 human beings, your citizens, have been slaughtered and gunned down by these people. Not to talk about those that have been disabled. And now you want to build them a settlement with roads, hospitals, schools. I don't get it. Is this a reward for killing more than 5,000 people? For displacing more than 100,000 of your citizens? I don't get it. I don't have anything against Fulani, so. But you know, Buhari has refused to declare these killers as terrorists. That's why everybody shouting that they are terrorizing people. They are terrorizing the whole nation. You refuse to declare them as terrorists. You refuse to prosecute the killers. And now you want to build them settlements among people that they have been killing. Does that, how does that even make sense? And we are supposed to believe that this will stop them from killing people. They were killing people before you gave them access now that you want to give them access you want us to believe this will solve everything what kind of government is this hey, what about me? See me see trouble i don't understand i don't get it so the way to get this buhari's government to build good schools to construct good roads and to build hospitals is to start slaughtering people that is how to get your attention more than 70 people were buried in one day killed by these herdsmen you didn't even have the guts to show up as a president do you know how many lives have been forever changed forever destroyed by these people do you know how many families have been destroyed by these people and now you want us to believe that you are doing this in the interest of the country of course not i mean we are not stupid we are not momoso the number three issue i have is this is so you want to build ruga why can't you do it in sambisa forest i don't understand i mean with lots of grass and space for whatever you want to build. It's a big, very, very big forest. Since you fail to equip our soldiers and so they are unable to get rid of Boko Haram and thousands of them have died. And the herdsmen that have been killing people obviously could care less about human lives. They care more about the lives of cows. Me, I think it's a win-win situation if you get them settled at Sambisa Forest. Even if it's not big enough, let's start from Sambisa Forest. That way, if Boko Haram doesn't want the herdsmen to graze on their land, they can just kill off Boko Haram. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Everybody wins. Now, what annoys me the most in all of this is Wagabwari. <laughs> you know, so I guess you're watching. How long have we been shouting that we need good hospitals all over Nigeria? Do you know how many people are dying every day? 
Friday on our roads that we need good roads. We've been shouting we need good roads. So it's not a priority until the issue of herdsmen came into play. So they are the only ones that deserve good roads. Provide all of the infrastructure they need. As a matter of fact, markets will come to this rural settlements or ranches. There will be the establishment of meat processors. There's going to be a lot of business and the money in this thing. This is not confined to Fulani. It's a business open to all Nigerians who wish to be a part of it. I know that the federal government said that this would not just be for the Fulani herders, that it would be for anybody who is into animal husbandry who wants to take advantage of the facilities. But to be honest, like, let's just be real. Like, how many people will feel comfortable to go and stay where the, the herders that have already established a record of killing innocent people are staying? To be honest with you, even though they are telling us this is not just for the Fulani herders, um, it is. Now, this is not an attack against the Fulani ethnic group, not at all, but the people that have been terrorizing the country should be brought to justice, not pampered. And it just so happened that these herdsmen are from the same tribe as Mr. President. You know, I have nothing against Fulanis. Like I said, not all Fulanis are going about killing people, but Buhari is so blinded by nepotism that he's not even listening to other people's concerns. You see, when people cried out, and he suspended the Ruga project. This is what uh, Abdulaziz Suleiman, the spokesperson of the coalition of Northern groups said on national TV in a press conference. And I'm not saying that they are speaking for everyone in the North or that they are representing all Fulanis, no. But the fact that a group of people can come out and boldly threaten peace in Nigeria if they don't get Ruga. That shows you how much this government, how much this government has failed. While we warn all state governors that stand against the implementation of the Ruga initiative to desist and give peace a chance, we place President Buhari and the federal government on notice that they must act to halt and completely stop this raging madness within 30 days. Is that, not, is that not a threat? We advise the federal authorities and the southern leaders to heed the 30-day notice, failing which we would most definitely be left with no option than to consider resorting to our decisive line of action. Is that not a threat? So long as the Fulani would not be allowed to enjoy their citizens' right of living and flourishing in any part of this country, including the south, no one should also expect us to allow any southerner to enjoy the same in northern Nigeria. Okay, now you will think that the government will go after these people and ensure that there is safety and security, uh, but I've not seen that. I mean, we have to learn from what happened in Rwanda. This is always how it starts. Threats like this, and people ignore it, and then before you know what's going on, it leads to a genocide. Haven't we had enough in Nigeria? How many people need to die? More than 20,000 people have died during this Buhari's administration as it is. How many more people have to die before we know that we need to take matters like this seriously? This this is the kind of statement that should cause for people to protest, that should cause the whole country to protest so that the government will do something because obviously Buhari will not do anything whenever it, it has to do with the herdsmen, he pretends as if it's not happening. So if we really want to get him to act, we need to protest. Personally, I don't think it's fair to earmark billions of naira to provide basic amenities to a selected group of people when you have failed to provide it for everybody. I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. To do what, what is wrong with you, not you, with call it the world. Lastly, more people need to go back to raising cows in the southern part of Nigeria. I mean, since you like beef, it makes sense that you go back to raising cows. This will boost your economy. It will also create a lot of employment opportunities and you won't have to worry about somebody killing you because of something that you want to eat. I'm saying this because that actually used to be the case, you know. There are so many places in southern part of Nigeria where they used to raise cows. That's why some places are named uh, Ga or Kanla, Ga can be. It's because they used to raise cows in those places. Anything Ga used to be a place where they were raising cattle. And so we need to go back to that. If you like to eat beef, you should like to raise cattle. Let me know what you guys think about this, but honestly, that's just my thought. As you guys know, I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. Before I sign out, if you like this, my jacket, it is actually made by a Nigerian designer. Go to xnatives.com and you can order your own if you want. And if you use my name, Adiola, as promo code, you get 10% off 
anything that you buy there's no minimum order it doesn't matter what it is that you order you get 10 percent off so once again thanks to everybody that have subscribed honestly ah mommies and daddies uncles and aunties you guys you know do you have done well and if you're yet to what are you waiting for it is only so that you can be notified whenever quality the world uploads a new video that is the only reason why we want you to subscribe and it's for your own good though it's, it's for your own and for quality the world's happiness <laughs> you know do well all right guys it's been real and i'm keeping it right up in here don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and if you're yet to subscribe like i said subscribe so that quality the world can be even happier until next time i'm gonna see you later peace out